Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, one advanced topic, uh, mostly for uh, system administrator, which is about how you can migrate one Matomo site to another Matomo instance. So the typically use case is the following one, is like um, you were uh, developing or you were using Matomo on, on your own server, on a third party uh, player server, and you would like the data dealing with this specific site, so to say everything that you can see over here, including the way you define goals, uh, the way you define events, the data, everything, the segment, and so on and so forth. You would like to include it uh, within uh, another uh, website, another instance. In my case, that's the other around. That was uh, this website that I migrate to this uh, given instance. Um, for this, there is a plugin made for that named uh, Migration, which has been developed by uh, the Matomo team. In order to be able to use uh, this plugin, what you will need to have is, of course, um, two different uh, Matmo. Uh, you will need to access to the uh, source Matmo server, so to say the one which is carrying the data and the configuration of your Matmo that you would like to migrate. And then uh, you need to access to the target Matmo's database. This part can be a bit tricky because, of course, it means that you have the access and that you have the rights to import data within this database. So one of the things that you need to take care of is to look on your uh, database provider to see if the IP address of uh, the source is authorized in order to insert data within uh, this other uh, database server. Um, the third part here of the requirement is as well tough. Uh, make sure you have updated both Matomo server, so that should be uh, doable but as well uh, that you have exactly uh, the same plugin on both. In fact, it's what they say, uh, the same database structure, because if uh, your uh, destination database has some plugins which are not on the source, then uh, you will see that the script that you're going to use is not going to work. So it's not enough to have uh, the same uh, Matomo uh, versions on both servers. You need also to have uh, the same uh, plugins which are expected. Um, in all cases, um, it will tell you about the different errors. It's just that it's, it takes some time. Um, and uh, how do you use it? So in order to use this given plugin, what you will need is an SSH access to your uh, source Matomo. Okay, so that's important because you need once more to access your program named the console. And then you need to set a request which look like uh, the one that you can see here on which here the double dash stands for uh, the parameters that you add. And here there's an optional parameter, but in reality, you will probably need uh, some of them. So in my case, I had to add this one. If not, it was not working. I had to add uh, the port as well. If not, it wasn't working. And of course, I was using the dry, one, dry run mode, uh, which, as they say, uh, is here in order to tell you if something is going, uh, is going wrong. OK, once uh, you install the migration uh, plugin, uh, then you access in SSH to your uh, to your Matomo server. So I'm not going to do it here as a demo because I already did it and I would, if I was doing it, disclose personal uh, information or at least uh, personal credential. But here is finally uh, the request that I fired compared to the one of the documentation. So uh, first of all, I had to use the user of uh, the, let's say, the, the one who had the control over the database. So to say here, the uh, Matomo user uh, database. So I perform a sudo uh, u, uh, dub, dub, dub data, then I execute uh, the following line, then I explain about which ID site of the origin uh, Matomo instance I want to move, then I indicated over here the, um, let's say, the uh, URL of my, uh, of my database, not really the URL, but it's where it's hosted. Then I added my username over here. Here, dealing with the password, I had to enter my, my password over here. 
then um, I specify the name of the database to which I would like to send the data to, then I precise the port, so in my case this part was necessary. And as well, I added the target DB prefix, even if you could uh, somehow guess it. Uh, I have been helped by Lucas Winkler, who told me that, okay, maybe uh, this post on GitHub will be of interest. In fact, this is what they say. They say that, okay, maybe this plugin is kind of compulsory to have within your request. So I did this, and as a result, so this was my origin, this was the origin, so what I wanted to send to my new Matomo instance. And as you can see, uh, the graphic that we have over here is identical uh, to the following one. Uh, you can see as well that the goals are as well set uh, properly over here, intent to login, uh, which, was the only, which was the only goal. Um, maybe I can double check if the events, there weren't any, uh, if I take on the monthly basis. Do we have events? No, we didn't have. Uh, let's let's look at the pages, for example. So as you can see over here, I have a total of uh, 867, and if I go over here, I got normally 867 as well. Uh, so to show you that the migration has been done has been done properly. So 867. So this is how the plugin works. It allows you to select one specific site ID in one Matum instance and to migrate it to a brand new instance with all your settings and data. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.